Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us on today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. And we are so excited about what it is that we're going to share with you on today. We are overcomers. And we overcome by the blood of the Lamb, which is Jesus Christ. And we overcome by the words of our own testimonies. Let me start off by giving our phrase for today. As you know, during this month of September, we are giving away free merchandise from the Balance of Life. Uh, could be one of our books. Uh, or it could be something else from our product line. And our key word for today is tested. That's right. Our key phrase for today is tested. Now, we're taking the first two emails from today that can give us our key phrase and we will email you, letting you know that you are a winner. And all you have to do is provide your address and we will mail you out your gift. So, once again, our keyword for today is tested. Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Once again, our email address is the balance of life one at yahoo.com all right let's dive into this word let's let's dive into the word of god i'm so excited how about you um let me say this uh because i experienced this um on last night uh preparing to teach and that's where this word is coming from. It is something when the Holy Spirit reveals to you what it is that you're facing when you have to teach. It is not easy. Let me say that. Okay? But whenever the one ministering the word, preacher, teacher, whatever they're doing behind that podium they have a job to do and the atmosphere must be conducive in order to fulfill what they have been called to do okay the atmosphere has to be set and so if the person who is coming in is already carrying the load, okay? They have to prepare themselves spiritually to do what it is that they're called to do. And so, whenever you have other issues coming in and you're already trying to bring your issues under subjection so you can do your job, Then, you have to, you have to reset the atmosphere. That's what I'm getting to. You have to reset the atmosphere for the teaching. And so last night, uh, and we're uploading the video now um, on our YouTube channel. Last night was one of those nights that I was tired going in. I really was. Um, several things going on with different loved ones and interceding. And I try to shut down early on a Wednesday to prepare myself for Bible study. Uh, but as I was sitting there, because we go in for 6 o'clock prayer, 
I begin to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to lift from me the heaviness. And while I'm there praying and through that time of six o'clock prayer and I am just letting the Lord have his way. And just before Bible study, here comes something else, which to me shifted the atmosphere to a place of heaviness. And I want to say to all of my fellow shepherd leaders, we all must learn how to shift the atmosphere into a place where the Holy Spirit is welcomed, binding the hands of the enemy and setting a tone for what it is that we came to do and to remind the people that we are overcomers. We, we overcome by the blood of the Lamb. And what the enemy does is he wants to distort what God has already said. He wants to bring in the spirit of fear. He wants to bring in the spirit of doubt. And whether we realize this or not, every single day, we have to set the tone. Whether you are at home, whether you are preparing to go to work, get the kids ready for school, whatever it is, set the tone for your day. Do not allow the enemy to come in and rob you and to steal what God has already given you. And this is done every single day. We have to set the tone every day. If you're just tuning in, you've tuned in to the balance of life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson. And let me tell you something, God is absolutely good and he is amazing. You are an overcomer. So we have to watch the words that come out of our mouth. We have to pay attention to our posture. It's so important. We have to speak the words that God has written. We have to, and I know using the word have to is so strong, but it's a must. Because what I saw last night, from last Wednesday to today, let me tell you what I saw. I saw... Someone hearing the word, receiving the word, Friday night rejoicing, Sunday rejoicing, but come back to Wednesday with another battle. And we have battles every day. We most certainly do. And that's why we must be careful about what we let come out of our mouths, what we allow to attach to us. And I know life, as the phrase goes, life is lifing. And it is not always <clears throat> an easy thing to do to stay in the word. But we must stay in the word. We must keep our minds stayed on the word. And we must utilize the word more often than we are. A lot of times, some of us, <clears throat> we're not using the word enough. It's a hit and miss. But I am finding in my own journey 
that the more I use the word, keep it a part of my every day, it's, it's there. It's there. It's there. So I have something to fall back on. I have a cushion, I should say. I have a resource. And when we're going through things, when we're going through a crisis, I am not going to tell you that the first thing that we grab is the word. Because in all reality, you know what? It's not. But we cannot stay in a defeated state or position. Grab the word. Use the word. Let the word be your portion. Amen? Let the word be your portion. To God be the glory. And so immediately... I went into prayer, which we have prayer before Bible study, and I always pray before we touch the Word, so we have a 6 o'clock prayer from 6 to 7, and then we go into Bible study, but praying to shift the atmosphere. We who are in that position of shepherd leader must set the atmosphere we ourselves must be in a place where we are allowing the Holy Spirit to do what he wants to do in us and I recognized right away I was tired spiritually mentally emotionally physically And I was sitting there and I was saying, Lord, I, I am an intercessor. And when you are an intercessor, you don't get an opportunity very often to send out a message for somebody to intercede for you. <laughs> you get those calls. You get those texts. And I was saying, Lord... I'm sitting here for me. And that's the truth. So in that leadership role, shepherd's role, it is important that we realize we have to go to God for ourselves. Because everybody else is relying on you. And we direct them right back to God the Father. We direct them right back to the word. What does the word say? And that is so important. And I was praying and I was saying, Lord, I have to teach tonight. And it's on spiritual authority, which is one of my favorite areas to teach on. But I need you to lift this tiredness from me because I can't teach tired and when I mean I can't teach tired it's not good for the people I don't want to transfer my tiredness to anybody mm -mm. so I go to the one who can lift it and then something else comes in and I'm like oh God I, I have to shift this atmosphere because I'm asking you to lift mine but here comes another layer and uh, last night when I got in and, and after I settled and laid down uh, um, I began to tell the Lord and talk to the Lord about wow I could see spiritually what it is that I had to get through in order to teach effectively. And I just want to remind all of us to be careful about what we say out of our mouths. Be very careful. Speak encouragement to yourself. 
speak the word to yourself. Begin to ask the Holy Spirit to give you instructions and directions concerning every given matter. And while we are waiting on these instructions, once again, let us be careful about what we say out of our mouths. While I'm waiting on the Lord, I cannot use words of defeat. I can't use Word, I can't use those words. I'm not defeated. I'm more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Yes, things are getting hard. They're getting harder. It seems like the press is getting harder. Like the weight is getting heavier. But I am looking to the hills from which cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord. And I cannot walk in defeat. I cannot walk in misery. Do you not know? Yes, I check myself. Oh, yes, I do. A lot of times, yes, I check myself. Girl, what you doing? There's no pity party over here. Victory belongs to you because you're in Christ Jesus. He already has the victory. Speak the word. It is written. Have faith in the word. Live by the word. Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeded out of, of the mouth of God. And you're not just going to live. Christ came that we may have life and that we may have it more abundantly. And we all have to remind ourselves of that. Because if we don't, the things that are tossed at us it will bury you it will bury you and it will overtake you and that is where the spirit of depression comes in the spirit of depression wants to isolate you from communion with one another the spirit of depression wants to isolate you from the word of God. The spirit of depression wants to isolate you from receiving and hearing God's love. That's why we have to be careful about what comes out of our mouths. We have to be careful about what we allow in our atmosphere. Use the word. Bind the hands of the enemy. Shift the atmosphere. Turn on some praise and worship. I'm talking about real praise and worship music. I'm not talking about that com contemporary stuff. Mm -mm. No. Sing it. Rejoice. Have a word in your heart. Speak it out of your mouth. Remember how you've already come through many dangers, toils, and snares. You've already come. You've already overcome. But learn how to shift your atmosphere. And for our shepherd leaders... It is important that we learn how to not carry our own things. Don't let it carry over into the into the pulpit. Don't let it carry over where it is transferred to the people. No. Get into the secret place of the Most High. Abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Go into that prayer closet. Tell the Lord what you need. 
so that when we come before the people, we come in the anointing. Solomon taught us that. When he prayed and asked for wisdom and knowledge on how to come before the people. Knowing that we all belong to God. And we must be careful about how we handle God's people. But I tell you last night, and last night we we begin to talk about, this is part two in a series on spiritual authority. We started last week with the understanding of your spiritual authority. We've taught on it before, but we had a question that shaped this particular Bible study. And the question was, why... Do people say, which it is scripture, I bind on earth as it is in heaven, and I loose on earth as it is in heaven? Why is that said? It For one, it is scripture. It is in Matthew 16, 20. And also it is one of the spiritual authorities given to the church by Jesus Christ. That authority was given to the disciples who were then appointed as apostles before Christ's crucifixion and resurrection. They received the gift of the Holy Spirit speaking in tongues after his ascension. So we've been teaching on that and last night was part two talking about the responsibility of authority because when you have authority it comes with responsibility that's why we have to be careful about what we say how we say it what we do and how we do it because spiritual authority comes with responsibility And I can tell you last night after I got in, I was in awe at the Holy Spirit revealing to me what I was up against. But to God be the glory, the way was made clear and we enjoyed Bible study questions and comments and and the people getting the word but it is getting through don't take it lightly encourage yourself encourage yourself use the word of God if you're just tuning in you're tuning into the balance of life I am pastor Angel Ferguson And I want to remind you that during the month of September, we are giving away free merchandise from the Balance of Life Christian Talk Radio. And we give a phrase word, a key word. All you have to do is be uh, the first of two individuals. We're taking two individuals who would email us first. The first two emails that we receive to give us our keyword for the day. Our keyword for today is tested. Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. If you are one of two individuals that we receive your email first, we will email you and let you know that you are a winner. And then we will ask you for your mailing address to send you merchandise from the Balance of Life Christian Talk Radio. Uh, We do have some books. We have some of our very recent publications. One of those books being the Life Applications, the Devotional. We also have Cycle Breakers, uh, Leadership Awareness, the Pastor's Position. 
and uh, we also have in um, the Ministry of Deliverance. We do have those copies in. We also have Sounding the Alarm, uh, the Teaching of the Mantleship of the Prophetic. We have in Being Drawn into Prayer, as well as the Seven Works of Grace. So we have a variety of our books, and then we have some other gifts, some merchandise that you could win during the month of September. All you have to do is email us when you hear the key phrase during our time of broadcasting. Now we're taking the first two emails of that day and we will let you know if you are a winner. Our key phrase for today is tested. All right. Uh, visit us on our website, www.angelferguson-ministries.com for a list of the courses that we have to offer along with our workbooks and other reading material in our publishing division. We've had a very, very, I want to say, awesome quarter so far this year. It is September the 5th. And we have released this year alone seven additional publications. And that is absolutely outstanding. Uh, some of the books are textbooks for the College of Ministry and Mentoring programs. On Fridays, we are sharing our course, uh, Becoming a Disciple of Jesus Christ. We release that particular workbook. It is available for sale on this past Sunday. So you can order a copy of Becoming a Disciple of Jesus Christ. Individual copy is $15. You can order via Amazon. And I do believe next week we're going to have some copies in and we're going to add that to possibly uh, give that away as well, give away a few copies. So this is our month to give. Uh, to sow a seed. We're not asking for anything. We are sowing a seed. That's what we do. Uh, we're not asking you for anything. If you uh, are a frequent listener of The Balance of Life, you notice that we do not ask you for anything. We do not ask you for donations. We do not ask you to give an offering. We do not ask you to do any of those things. As a matter of fact, we give in the month of April and May, we gave away books uh, and other products from our ministry. We gave away copies of Being Drawn Into Prayer, The Seven Works of Grace, um, Dream Builders Journal, uh, magazines, and some of our custom jewelry that we make for the magazine. And then we turned around and we gave away more product in July and we're back at it again and so we've already given away three books so far we have given away two copies of the life applications the devotional and a copy of sounding the alarm and we just want to be a blessing unto you we thank you so very much for being a part of our listening audience you've been with us for seven years now with radio ministry and we greatly appreciate it I want you to remember to speak the word God's written word have faith in it and believe it and move in obedience speak positive to yourself you're not defeated you are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus and yes you can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you you absolutely can speak the word to those situations in those circumstances believe God know 100% that God word will never return unto him void he is a promise keeper and he loves and he cares about everything concerning you and I. He is our father in heaven and he will hold no good thing from us. Have a blessed day.